everyone, it's Emily. Welcome to Mama From Scratch. Today I'm going to share with you an Ikea haul and also share with you how I use those items to decorate my house. I hope you're having an awesome day so far. If you are new here, I hope you hit that red subscribe button and become part of our family's eyes. We love to inspire and motivate you to unleash your creativity on a budget, and so does my dog, Remington. So let's go ahead and get into this haul, and when I'm done sharing with everything with you, I will show you how I decided to decorate the items in my house. So I don't have an Ikea that close to me. It's about three hours away or so. And it's definitely a, kind of a treat when we go in there and go shopping. So the first items that we ended up getting, which is kind of boring, it has nothing to do with home decor, but we got it anyways, are these glass plates. They were only like 79 cents or something like that, something crazy, so I got four of them because I like having glass versus plastic for the boys, if I can help it anyways. Then, sticking with the kitchen theme, I got these Ellie um, dish towels, and I like these, I thought, for Christmas coming up. I thought these would be beautiful because they're white and green, and they're just kind of subtle, but they still are really pretty. And you could also turn these into pillows and things like that. That's what I've done with a lot of Ikea dish towels. Um, like for fall, just a couple weeks ago, I shared with you like a really cute pumpkin one and using this um, dish towel actually, and except it had black stripe. And this one has the red, which I really like, and I thought this would be perfect for Christmas. So I'm definitely going to be using that. And then I did just get their 79 cent towels. They always say, last time I was there, um, they said that they were not going to carry them anymore. Well, they still had them, so... I don't know, maybe they just got new ones in, but um, these are just regular tea towels with the red stripe, and I think they're beautiful. Definitely they have that beautiful farmhouse touch to them, but super inexpensive, 79 cents. I mean, and these ones were, I think, $4, but you get four of them in a set, so really a dollar uh, tea towel, that's a great price. Then I ended up getting these uh, red um, pillow slip colors. These are the girly ones, they're 20 by 20. If you guys have never bought their pillow inserts, you really should. They're an awesome price. I want to say they're like maybe six bucks or so, and they're even feathered, which is awesome for like decorating, but they also have just the regular, um, what is that stuff called? The pillow foam stuff. There's just, you know, the, what, I can't think of the name of it now, so I'm sorry. Um, but they're really nice, so they fit those, and I thought these would be great for Christmas. I am going back and forth for decorating for Christmas. If I'm going to do, last year I did Lots of pops of red with um, buffalo check and everything, and I loved it. And this year, I love color, so it's hard for me to kind of step away from that. But I'm really thinking about doing like um, silvers and golds this year and keeping it more on the neutral tone. I just don't know. I can't decide. So let me know how you guys are going to decorate your house this year for Christmas. It gives me ideas like what I want to do. I might actually do like each room have something a little bit different. Maybe make our room pop with red and a bingham check. And maybe here will be all the golds and silvers. What is she? The dog's over there laying on her bed and she's moaning. What are you dreaming about over there? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, but these were, I think, $3 a piece. Such a good price for a pillow cover, and I like pillow covers too because they easily store, you don't have to store the entire pillow. Definitely the way to go. Um, and I can DIY these as well. Then I had to get their florals. I love the eucalyptus there, it is just beautiful, and it's a really good price, but I picked up these. They don't have a name on them, you guys. They have like the weird Ikea name, Simaka. I don't know. They look to me more kind of like a Pina Dahlia type of flower. They're a beautiful mauve pink. I love it. They're fuzzy stemmed too, so they're very real looking. I think they're gorgeous. I got this one, I think it also in peach as well. And I think those were like $3.99, $2.99, somewhere in there. I saw these and these are gorgeous. Oh my gosh, there's dog hair on it. <sighs> Thanks, Remington. Um, I thought these were just beautiful. I don't even know what these are, but I love them. Um, I'm sure one of you guys will tell me in the comments, but um, if you know what they are. I thought these were gorgeous, and I'm thinking about putting these in the office, but also for our bedroom. Um, these, typically I do white and pink for like springtime and things like that, and even in the winter, but I think I might add these into the office. The office is going to have a really nice... Um, neutral tone to it, but I think, think it still needs like a pop of color just because of all the wood. I feel like pink really looks good with wood. Um, and then I got these. Um, I thought were really pretty. They're like a cabbage rose, and these were I think $1.99 a piece. They're in the white cream, 
And I also got them in that mauvey pink color. They're just gorgeous. And then there's these they're eucalyptus with like a um, like pink florals on them, and they're so pretty. You guys, I had so much fun in the store. I totally grabbed a ton of the florals and put together a really pretty bouquet in there and filled out the vase and just had fun in designing like something, you know, something different. And I was like, just fun to like take all the florals and figure out what looks good. And they had so many options. You guys could take these and make these for corsages and boutonnieres and things like that for weddings and proms. And you don't have to spend a lot of money. I think they're really nice quality. And then I also got these. I think they're so beautiful. I wish that they had them in a creamy white. They don't. But they're a beautiful blush pink with a little bit of a darker pink in them. I don't know what they are. They're like definitely like the rippled and not rippled, but kind of cabbagey looking. They are just gorgeous. I think they're just pretty, really pretty. Um, and those are all the florals I got. I, I got one greenery um, bush, a box head bush for the office. Um, I could never have enough of those, right? And they're like $4.99, a really good price. And I love the color green that they have in them. Then I got um, an actual curtain rod. I've never bought their curtain rods before, but I must say I love the pricing. It's super inexpensive. I think the rod itself was like six bucks. And then you buy each individual part separately. So I think these are like $2.99 or something like that. Um, but this is the hardware for the ends. And I'm putting this in our kid, the boys' playroom. You can pick different knobs that you want for the ends. So I picked the rounded ones. Um, even though I like the plain, I think the rounded would look good in there. And I got two different options for the curtains in there. Um, they have the Ritva. These were like 20 bucks and you get two of them in one package, which is a great price. I know that they have cheaper ones, like two for 10, but they're a little bit more see-through and I wanted them to be not so see-through, like be a little bit more solid of a fabric, um, thicker. So I got these, I think they're pretty. They have a nice like kind of texture on them. Um, I might be able to show that to you guys closer up when I put them up in the room. The other thing, I love gray. If you've been with me for a while, you know I have a lot of gray in this house. I just love decorating with it. Um, but they had the Linda um, pillow, uh, pillows, um, curtains. I love the gray. I like the masculinity of this coloring of the charcoal gray that they have. I think that's perfect for the playroom, but I don't know if it's gonna darken up the room too much. So I bought both and I'll just return the other one. Um, and they have a great return policy at Ikea as well which is amazing, but the only thing I don't like about these is that they have the um, loop tops, which isn't very appealing, at least in my opinion. I, you need to have like a balance to cover that up. So I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to go with these, we will see, but if you buy their curtains, they go to like 140 cm, so it's like 98 inches, which is amazing if you have super tall ceilings. We have eight foot ceilings, but you'll see in the playroom where I have it, I like the curtain rod to sit above the window quite a bit closer to the ceiling height to kind of make elevate the room, make it look taller. And you'll notice in there that the curtains I have from Target, which are great, but they're too short. Like they look like high waters and it's just ridiculous looking. So I wanted to get these and then you can hem them obviously and do whatever you need to do. But I'm excited to see which one of those I will use. So now um, the haul is finished. Now I'm gonna take you guys decorating and I don't know if I'll be doing it all in the same day. So you guys might see me in different outfits because that's just how life is when you have kids. And I'm lucky I'm filming this right now because Ezekiel's actually napping, which is a plus. First nap in over a week, yes. So I'm gonna take you guys decorating now and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts on everything. And if you have found similar products at Ikea and what you specifically like to buy from there. I always get asked this before, I let, before we start decorating. My couches are from Ikea and I love them because they're slip covered and they're the Utopia ones. I love them because that's the only way I'd have white in my house is if I could wash it and they wash up super nice. So if you're in the look for a good couch, Ikea's are pretty nice. May you always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough. Shining from within, I can tell that you're tough. Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point makes a world of difference. Oh, you make me strong. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough. Shining from within, I can tell that you're tough. 
65 inches long and I needed like 90. Well, I guess the grave will just have to work for this one. Look how short these are. Look. They're even worse than before. <laughs> that really sucks, let me tell you. It's a look at the gray curtains at night time so you can actually not be blinded by all the sun. I don't like either of these options, to be honest with you. This one, I just curved it in the back to cover up the slots right here. Um, those, because I don't like those hanging. And I don't care for that. I could probably just, you know, sew them and then try something else. But up here, I just tucked it underneath to give it like a little balance. But in order to keep it long enough to the floor, um, it has to be short like that and I don't like that. It looks okay in here. I'm not that fond of it and it actually darkens up the room quite a bit during the day, which I don't want. I wanted to say light and bright in here. So I think I'm just gonna go and get the other longer white curtains and return these ones. I cannot believe I made the mistake of buying too short of curtains. Silly me. The boxwood plant I added here to Elijah's little desk area on one side and then over here on the other side is the desk and I really love the way the pink looks on here as well. Is that um, the white and it just adds that little pop of color in here and then I just added it to this little wicker vase. I didn't want anything glass wise because this is his desk area but I love the little pop of color it gives to the area. If you guys enjoyed this Ikea haul and decorate with me, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you have an awesome day.